Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline, and today I thought I would film my January favorites video. I know everyone says this, but it feels like this month has just flown by. It feels like it was just like New Year's Eve yesterday. But with another month gone by, it means there's a bunch of new products that I've been trying out and loving. So let's hop into this. Okay, so the first product that I have is the MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in the shade Medium Dark. And I've just been using this as a really natural bronzer. This actually used to be my summer color, and I would use this as like my face powder. But I am about four or five shades lighter than this right now, which is hilarious. This is a really beautiful powder. It's extremely lightweight and it looks very natural on the skin. Even if you put like tons of layers on, it still does not look cakey. It is pretty like light in coverage, so if you were to use this as like your powder foundation, um, it wouldn't add too much coverage. But yeah, like I said, I've just been using this as a really, really natural bronzer. I've just been kind of like sweeping it around my cheeks and around my forehead just to add a little bit of color back into me because I am whiter than whipped cream right now. Okay, so the next product that I have is the Urban Decay Naked Palette. This is the original one. I've had this for at least about a year and a half-ish now, I think. And I know everyone talks about these palettes, but they are amazing. And I do love them. This is basically all I use um, for my eyeshadow if I'm going to do eyeshadow. And the ones that I've especially been loving is Toasted and Hustle. Toasted is this beautiful, like, deep, champagne-y, kind of frosty bronze color, if that makes any sense at all. And then we have Hustle, which is a really cool, toned, taupey shadow and I've just been loving doing toasted all over the lid and then hustle in the crease and that's actually what I'm wearing right now and all of these eyeshadows are just beautiful really pigmented they have really nice staying power this entire palette is really warm tone and it's got tons of goldy and bronzy colors but the toasted and the hustle are the two colors that are really cool tone and I find in the winter time when I am more pale I do like to have more cool toned eyeshadows so yeah those guys I've been loving Okay, this next item, I believe I talked about it in a haul recently. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo, and mine is in the shade Medium Brown. And I'm not one of those people that is like super into doing their eyebrows. I don't do my eyebrows a lot of the time, but I do like to use the lighter shade in this little duo just to kind of fill in the tail of my eyebrows where they tend to get a bit more sparse. If I do have like a really dramatic eye or a really bold lip, I just find it really balances it out. And I really like both these shades. I think they're really natural looking and they really match my eyebrows perfectly. So this is definitely my go-to eyebrow little kit if I am to do my brows. This is another product that I think I also hauled recently. But this is the MAC Prep and Prime. This is the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter. And this is just a pen that you like draw on your face to help highlight it and illuminate it. This doesn't have any sparkles or shimmers in it though. It's just like a light golden yellow toned highlighter. And I don't really wear concealer because I don't really get purpley or dark circles under my eyes, which I'm really lucky about. But I do like to use this just under my eyes to brighten them up. And so that way if I'm wearing like foundation, my entire skin isn't just like one color. It adds some dimension, which is really nice. And it's really lightweight, which I like. So it's definitely a winner for me. Another product that I've been especially loving this month is the Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express in Waterproof. And this is just in the shade black, brown black. I'm not sure. It's the darkest shade that you can get here in Canada, which is kind of annoying though because it isn't as dark as I'd like my mascara to be. I do really like black, really dark lashes. And this is like dark, but it's not completely black. Like you know how you can get the mascara that's kind of like black and then there's like extreme black, which is more black. This one is just like the black version. So it's not as deep and bold of a black as I like, which is a really small and minor issue, but I would like it to be a bit darker, but they don't carry it anywhere in Canada, which is super annoying. But um, no, this has been my favorite mascara for like two, three years now. I always go back to it. This month I had been trying out a bunch of different mascaras, trying to find like the perfect mascara. And this one isn't the perfect mascara, but this is my favorite mascara. Yeah, like I said, if I could improve this, I would just make it a bit darker. And it definitely does leave your eyelashes feeling like really crunchy and hard. So if you don't like that feeling, don't go for this one. And I mean, I'm not necessarily looking to have crunchy eyelashes, but I find if I curl my eyelashes, it really hardens and holds the curl, which I like. And it's what I need in my mascara. Oh, and another thing that's really great about this mascara is it doesn't smudge under on your bottom lash line. I find any mascara that I use, either waterproof or not, it smudges on my lower lash line onto like my eyelid. I'm not sure if it's because I get like oily under there or if my eyelashes just hit my skin a weird way, but it always happens and this is like the one mascara that doesn't smudge and like flake under there, which is awesome. 
Okay, the next product that I've been loving is from OPI, and it is a nail polish. It is in the shade, not like the movies. And this color is actually really interesting. I don't know if you've ever gone into like a parking lot or like seen like a little like oil spill from a car, and it has that kind of rainbow oil spill kind of color. And this is like that color in a bottle, which is really interesting because it kind of changes from purples to greens to blues on your nails, which is kind of cool. And it's also got silver little shimmers inside. So it's definitely like an eye-catching polish for sure, and I've been loving this one. The next thing that I've been loving is a brush from Sigma. It is the Tapered Blending E40, and this is just a really fluffy dome shadow brush for really buffing out and blending your eyeshadow. I've been loving this one. It's super soft, and it really does blend out your eyeshadow. Oh, I just dropped it. And it really does blend out your eyeshadow really well, which is awesome. I had been waiting to order from Sigma for a while, and I just did this past like month, I think it was. And I've really been loving all the brushes, but this one stands out for sure. Okay, another thing I've been loving is from Lush because I can't make a video without talking about it apparently. Um, and this is the Aqua Mirabilis Body Butter. Aqua Mirabilis Body... Aqua Mirabilis Body Butter. That's like a tongue twister to say. And this is actually a brand new one because I had finished mine... Well, I've got like a small little piece left in the shower, but I didn't want to show you guys that one. And this is... First of all, it smells amazing. It's supposed to smell kind of like almondy and nutty, I think. But to me, it kind of pulls original potato chip, maybe a little ruffle in there. And it's not like a bad potato chip smell. It's kind of a good one. And like, I don't necessarily think I want to smell like a potato chip, but I mean, I don't hate this. So this guy is a body butter. So what that means is you use it in the shower and you get it wet and you kind of just like massage it all over your legs and your arms or your feet or wherever else you want to be scrubbed and polished. And it adds a beautiful like oily kind of residue which hydrates the skin so that way you don't need to apply like a lotion when you get out of the shower which is perfect if you're kind of lazy like me and never apply lotion when you get out of the shower so it totally is like a two-in-one kind of product and it's also got scrubby little like almond bits inside which really help exfoliate away the dead skin and it leaves you super hydrated and smelling like a potato chip there's also a couple other different like fragrances and body butters in the shop so if you're not into this one maybe check out another one because they are really awesome and amazing Okay, another thing that I've been loving is this Victoria's Secret Body Mist, and this is in the color, or in the color, this is in the fragrance Vanilla Lace, and this is just a really beautiful, soothing, sweet vanilla scent. It almost smells like vanilla cake batter to me, but it's not in like a really overwhelming, sickly sweet kind of way. I'm really into like vanilla scents, and this one smells amazing, and I'm sure you can tell by the level of the um, liquid inside that I've really been loving it lately. So definitely check this one out if you are into vanilla sweet kind of scents. Mmm, yeah, so good. Okay, so fashion favorite of the month has been this jacket from Club Monaco. And I'm not sure if you can see the whole thing, but it's this beautiful, thick, creamy colored beige jacket. And it's got this beautiful gold zipper that I'm obsessed with. It's really awesome because it's nice and long, so it covers your butt and a bit of your legs, which keeps you nice and warm in the winter, especially when you get like those extremely cold gusts of wind and they just like travel up your jacket and up your back. Oh, it's like the worst thing ever. It keeps me super warm and I find it goes with a ton of different outfits and different scarves that I have, so I'm really into it. And you know that I love my beiges and my neutrals, so I've been really loving that jacket. Okay, so food favorite of the month has been these Lara bars. They're basically like fruit and nut bars, and this is in the coconut cream flavor, which is actually my favorite flavor. They do a bunch of different flavors though, and they're all like based on dates basically, dates and a few nuts, and they have a bunch of different flavors like apple, they've got like cashew, chocolate chip, peanut butter, different things like that, and they taste amazing. They're really good too for on the go. I always have one in my bag just in case I get hungry. Yeah, I definitely recommend you check these out if you're on the hunt for a good fruit and nut bar because these guys are amazing and especially the ingredients are really good too. They're really simple and like kind of unrefined, which is what I like. So we just got dates in this guy, dried coconut, cashews, almonds, and coconut oil, and that's it. And these guys taste so, so good, and I can't say enough good things about these. They are amazing. Okay, so song favorite of the month is Riptide. I have been listening to that song so much this month, and I feel like it's playing everywhere I go to. I'll like walk into a store and that song will be playing. I'll go into my car and that song will be playing. It literally is like following me around, which I don't hate because I love the song, but I just feel like I've been hearing that song everywhere recently and I love it. It is my jam. I definitely recommend you checking it out if you haven't heard of it, but I'm sure you would have because it's kind of everywhere right now. Um, I'll leave a link for it down below though if you want to check that out. Another thing that I've been loving this month has been yoga. It was my New Year's resolution to try something that I've never done before, so I decided to take up yoga, and I found this amazing studio, and I've been loving it. 
I've mainly been doing power yoga, but I definitely want to try out all the other types of yoga that my studio offers. It's been ugh, so good. I find I am so relaxed and I feel so good after it. I've just been obsessed with it. Like I said in a video before, I actually had surgery this month, so I've just been kind of relaxing and chilling. So I haven't been able to go and do yoga um, in the last couple of weeks, but I'm definitely looking forward to get back into it because I've been like itching to go now. So that has been fun so far. Let me know how your New Year's resolutions are going or if you even had any New Year's resolutions. But other than that, I'm just trying to think. I think that is everything that I wanted to talk about. Let me know what you've been loving this month of January, and I hope that you've had an awesome start to the new year. I hope this month treated you well. Treated you well? I hope this month treated you well. Yeah, that was English. So that is the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed watching, and I will see you soon. Bye!